Another day, another continuation of this thing. Let's leave the penthouse, and I assume she'll be outside, because people are usually outside. Alright, there you go. Quarry! I thought you might be living here. Just to be sure, that, that was you in the Nightmare City, right? That was me. That's reassuring. If that's the case, then I didn't have one bizarre dream. I guess that's not true technically, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I want you to come back to where I've been staying with me. I don't want to go back alone after, what I, after I ran away. I have a friend who lives there. Her name is Erin, and she's really... blunt. I don't think she'll be pleased with me after I show my face again. You know Erin? She's been staying with you for a while. She's been out looking for me? She's been looking for me this whole time? I definitely can't go back on my own. If I put her through all this trouble, she'll definitely have my head on a stake. If you do decide to come back with me, I'll be waiting for you at the Grand Dream Station. Alright, let's go. Grand Dream Station, you here, babe? Where are you? Oh, pink hair, pink hair. You decided to come after all. Of course. I'm I'm glad I'm still worth your time. Anyway, let's get going. All I have to do is go through the turnstile. Uh, it charges you automatically when you pass it, but I already bought you a free pass. It'll cost you next time, though. How much does it cost? I kind of want to know that. This one? Okay, Alita. Where are we going? We're not too far. All we do is walk north. When you get far enough, you'll find a crossroad. Take the left. Then keep walking. You'll find the place. It's on a cliff, so it's really hard to miss. Left. Radio. I don't recall at being at this train station, do I? Have I been here? I can't take the right path, so... Well, shit, there's level 70 Pokemon here, which means I should probably level up soon. That's not good. Have a Pokemon already won't even max level yet. Alright, this is the place. Let's just go ahead. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this, yeah? Yeah. Let's go. It's going to be alright, don't worry about it. But what if something happens again? We won't be around to help the situation. If something happened, it would have happened already. Aaron's out looking for her right now. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Hey. Hey. Alita. What an Arceus' Earth have you been a have you where an Arceus' Earth have you been, Alita? You can't just get up and decide to leave when you feel like it. Especially after what's happened to you. I'm fine, you don't have to worry about me all the time. Last time I decided not to worry, you fell into a coma. Everyone keeps telling me that I know what happened to me. You don't have to keep reminding me of the mistake I made. I get it. I found Cory in Grand Dream City. Cory? It is you. I'm very happy to see you again. Are you well? They're doing just fine, Ellis. You don't need to ask stupid questions. Like that. Well, I was just trying to catch up with Cory again, is all. <clears throat> Where man is? This is Sauta. Pleasure to meet you. I'm the owner of this lovely theater. I don't wish to break up such a reunion, but have any of you seen my granddaughter? About that. Uh, Aaron's been staying with Cory. Apparently she's been lucky for me this whole time. She better have been. That's what I sent out there for. Alita, I'm not going to just glance over this. What what happened out there? Were you just out there investigating the wreckage with Aaron? I lied. Why would you lie to me, Alita? Because every time you be, uh, because everyone here, because everyone here has been staring me down since the moment I woke up. Don't think I don't notice you three watching me when my back is turned. I felt like I was in some sort of psychiatric ward. I couldn't take it anymore. All it took was one stupid lie, and you believed it. Well, we're just trying to protect you. I don't need your goddamn protection, you dense old lady. I can take care of myself, and don't you dare remind me what happened. And don't you dare remind me what happened, because trust me, I'm pretty aware of what happened. Alita. That's it. I've had it. Uh, Aaron. I don't care that I can't find her. She ran off, and that's no longer my problem. The thing about that. No, you listen to me, old man. I'm done looking for that brat. I know she didn't get lost. I think she ran away when she got the opportunity. So you know what? To hell with her. I'm done looking for her, and I'm going to my room to get a well-deserved nap. That's absolutely final. Aaron? Absolutely final. Aaron? What? Ugh. <laughs> Freaking out, huh? Yeah. Alita! You selfish bitch. Ooh. Next time you decide you want to make my life hell, you better put it in the paperwork. Because of you, I was homeless for weeks. Just so you could run off and do your own thing? What the hell do you think would have happened to me? I was responsible for you. I convinced this old man to let me take you in on your own, but then you just betrayed me. I did all this just so you could stab me in the back. I hope you're happy with yourself, this little prick. Oh. I'm gonna talk with her. That be advised. Well, that was a wonderful reunion, wasn't it? Souda, you haven't changed a bit. Heh. 
Yeah, those two boning. All right, let's go see the cat fight. Uh, which room? Which room? Well, it's one of those two rooms, obviously. Oh, cat fight. Aaron, listen. I have nothing to say to you, Lita. I'm sorry that I tricked you, but it was something I had to do. Perhaps that was the case. I'm more annoyed by the fact you refused to let me help you. Instead, you chose to throw me under the bus. Was that always the plan? That was always the plan, right? I just want you to know that I actually was worried about your safety. Now I know that was a huge mistake. I don't know what else to say. You know, people usually say, I'm sorry to people they've wronged. How, uh, has that phrase completely left your vocabulary? Fine, I'm just going to go back to my room. I've had enough of this anyway. I don't know what, who you were before this, but... All you think about is yourself. Why, why must you instigate? Am I that much of a burden on you all? You really don't remember what happened, do you? What? The day I brought both of you back here. Hmm? You were completely fine, but the old woman was badly hurt. We tended to her first, and then the subject switched to you. Apparently, you've been inflicted with some kind of ancient griffin curse. Since Sout is a spiritual healer, we brought you back to the main hall for healing. Much more inflicts this girl than a single griffin curf uh, curse. It seems there are many locks around her heart and soul. Vivian. Is there anything you can do for us, Sauter? I'll be able to undo the curse, but it involves some removing at least change around a soul. I have no idea what these consequences will be, so be, you best be prepared. I want you to go get those prayer slips re ready. Got it. Get ready. I shall begin the process. Think you could s uh, swing that stick like you could in the old days? You know I still got it. They are definitely boning. This conversation ends here. <laughs> That's not even the s I'm not even in the same room and I'm disgusted. Just get on with it. Alright, alright. Let's begin. And she's flying. Aaron, you are almost done with these. Uh, you almost done with those slips. I just need a few more minutes. Well, hurry! Don't have all day. At least change around Alita's soul while well, unlocking them, Homer. No, but I have an idea what kind. Of, I have no idea what kind of effect they will have on a psyche. Her mental state may be different from what you what you used to. I see. I'm gonna proceed with unlocking these change. Break. What's going on, Souda? I don't know. Aaron, the prayer slips. I'm almost done with them, old man. These prayer slips must be absolutely perfect. If I do them incorrectly, they won't do anything, and you know that. She's awake. No, that's not... Oh, shit. Heh. <laughs> what the hell? And she's dead. Well, not dead. Don't you dare take your eyes off her. We can't leave Elite in this state. Complete the ritual. My god. What has happened to this girl? Could the curse be this powerful? What's happening in there? Aaron, we need those prayer slips now. I'm almost done with them. You know these things take time. They wear off seconds after they're made to make sure I do this correctly. Just stall a bit. Is there anything I can do to help the situation? Yes, by staying back. Aaron, the prayer slips now! Don't nag me, I'm on it. Time to go to bed, Alita. Jesus. Oh, that was interesting. Ugh. After all that was done, you woke up. But you still weren't quite you. Actually, you're absolutely awful. You broke things, you damaged the place, you attacked the kimono girls who worked here in the theater. And you even tried to attack innocent bystanders in Route 9. It got to the point where Sauda's almost forced to exile you both away. But before we, he, he could resort to that, he tried one, one thing. To reattach some of the change we've undone before. With that, he placed his robe onto you, and told you to recite a prayer every 24 hours. You were, uh, you were so, somewhat back to your old self, but with a more aggressive touch. Huh. We weren't watching you to make sure you were okay. We were watching to make sure you wouldn't harm anyone. We're looking out for the people who live in these parts. Now, just imagine what would happen if suddenly one prayer wasn't enough. What if you lost sight of who you were again? What would happen? You'd go off and hurt others because you couldn't control yourself. I would have been responsible for every single person you touched. That's why I'm upset with you. That's why we cannot let you out of our sight any moment. Do you understand now, Alita? Jesus. I'm, I'm so sorry for everything, Aaron. I guess I would accept your apology for now, but... Better not try anything again. I hope I'm making myself exceptionally clear. Yes, I'll behave from now on. I just wish someone would have told me all this before. We didn't want to upset you. Any extreme emotional stimulation may cause a reaction. That's what we're trying to avoid the most. I understand. Everyone. I have an apology. That can wait. You need, I'll need to turn on the TV. What? Just do what she said. Oh, there's a TV in here. Hello everyone, this is Volta from Garen City News. We're here to announce the participants of the festival tournament coming up. We've already gone through brackets A through D, and the first bit of bracket E, so now we're going through the final list. The last participant in bracket E, huh? 
Jean, Mary Ann, Lucian, Aaron, Aaron, Alita, Venom, Melia, Cannon, Corey, and the beautiful talented Ra Risey. Wait, why am, why am I in the tournament exactly? I thought they were booked. Risa Ryder. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next time. That was certainly something. Why have all of the names been called out as participants for that? I didn't sign up to take part in it. Well, considering all of our reactions, I don't think any of us did. Well, sure we don't have to take part in it. I don't know the terms and agreements for signing up for this thing. I remember there being a huge thing over people not showing up for the tournament after they signed up. A lot of money was wasted for spots that weren't filled in the end. Cassandra was livid. If we all want to get out of this, we're probably going to have to pay the, a huge fee. I think we could possibly face jail time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not extremely swimming in cash. Why can't we just have a catch-up break? I'll go down to Dream District and see what I can do. Alita, I want you to stay here with Cor- at least Cory. Never go out by yourself. Make sure you're with someone you trust at all times. Understood. Well. I can't believe I've been this horrible of a person and didn't even notice it. I understand where the others are coming from, but I still had the right to know. I'm not unreasonable. I understood the intentions. And to top it all off, I've been signed up for a tournament I didn't know I existed until now. That's just peachy. What a- That's just fantastic. Wonderful. Alita, no need to be so fierce. Sauta, how much of that did you hear? All of it, but there's no problem at all. I understand your situation. Please understand what we had we had no ill intention. We only wanted to protect you. Are you people always? I'm always trying to be protected like like I'm some prize or something. I'm not a trophy. I don't need everyone's protection. I'm perfectly capable of handling myself. I'm sure you are, Lita. There's no doubt in my mind that you are. It extends just beyond being able to handle yourself. Things that cannot be explained per Why can't wh what can't be explained, Sauta? Why can't anything be explained to me? Huh. So you wish to know everything then? That's what, that's what you truly want? Yeah. I see. And it seems like it's time for my purpose in life to finally be fulfilled. I believe that you're ready to learn the truth. However, you need help from your friends. Where did Aaron head off to? Do you know? She said she was going to figure out the situation with the tournament down at the Dream District. Uh, Dream, Dr Dream District. How peculiar. I've heard about that from the eldest. Anyhow, I believe the further inquiries are handed out at Axis High University. Go and get Aaron. When you're at it... Go get Melian as well. She be at the Hospital of Hope. Meet me in my room once you've gathered everyone. Will do, Scouter. Thank you for this. It's no problem. Okay. Hey, wait. How did Soda know that Melia's at the Hospital of Hope? Wait. Why is Melia at the Hospital of Hope? Is she okay? I see. So Venom has been turned to stone. That explains why she's at the Hospital of Hope. Very sorry that happened to Venom, but we can't just stand around, Cory. Ah, and cry. Do you know how to get the axes high? All you have to do is go north of the central building and cross the bridge. The gate to Axis High University will be right in front of you. I'm gonna go ahead and head by myself. I need some time alone. Uh, she told me- she told you never to wander off alone. For one. Whatever. Shit's gonna get real. She never opened a gift either. Oh. Lavin has been assigned to the E on ground floor. Of course she is. Where else would she go? Just push the cart, Rebecca. Ma'am, do you require assistance? No, I can take care of myself. Thank you. I just have a small room that needs attending. I don't need to be pushed around in a cart. So if you would just excuse me, I'll be on my way. Nope, she's gonna try and assassinate Venom. Listen, it's nothing serious. I just need a small room looked at and treated. I believe Cassandra made an appointment for me or something. Uh, let me take a look at a database. Go nuts. You must be Medellis, correct? The one that Cassandra sent? Yep. No need to look up an appointment, nurse. I have this one covered. Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Medellis, this doctor will- oh, Miss Medellis, the doctor will see you now. Yeah, I got that. Radio. I was only trying to help. I'm- I know. So, Doc, you always bring your patients underground to your creepy little room? So, Medellis, do you always speak- uh, spew nonsense when you speak? Touché. No, I'm just a little- it's just a little weird. To answer your question, no, I don't bring anyone down here, period. However, seeing as this is a special circumstance, I'm willing to make an exception. Special circumstance. Are you part of, uh, Team Zen? No. I couldn't be bothered to take part in a disorganized organization. However, I am affiliated with Cassandra, and she is part of Team Zen, no? So you two have some mutual partnership or something? To an extent, yes. I couldn't care less about what she does. All I care about is my research. I see. Ugh. This is a considerable rune. How do you manage to get this? I fell on a knife. You fell on a knife? Yeah, just, just walking around the kitchen. Oops, fell on a knife. Usual. Well, anyway, it's not too serious. I've stitched it up and applied some antibiotics. This should heal soon. Just try not to move around too much and you may you may reopen it. Thanks, Doc. 
No problem. I'm sure you can see your own way out. Not a problem. Goodbye. Okay, then. So, oh, still going. Huh? I'm sure you sure wouldn't mind if I take a small detour. Oh, boy. What? What is it? What in the... Hmm? What was that? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, the uh, dream district. Uh, Axis University should be around here somewhere, yeah? I think it's past this thing. That's what it was told, at least. We'll see how accurate that is. Uh, yeah, just, just scope around, I guess. I, I don't know. Thanks for that. So I guess I'll just be looking around for the person I gotta find. I have a feeling you're gonna do something. So you're saying you really can't do anything about it? I'm sorry, but our policy is incredibly strict. You were told this when you went to sign up. There's no excuse. I already told you that. I had nothing to do with that nonsense. I'm sorry, but that's extremely hard to believe. Each client requires ID and an interview before being accepted. I can assure you that no impersonation is possible. Well then, that's it? That's it. Thanks for nothing, ma'am. Well, as you can tell, I was a complete bust. Looks like one this whether or not we, whether we like it or not. So you get the situation. Uh, you get the situation under control, Aaron. What? Why are you looking like that, Alita? What do we just talk about? You weren't supposed to be out here by yourself. Yeah, let me later, okay? I just I, I don't give a damn right now. Did you get the situation taken care of, or didn't you? Unfortunately, not. There's nothing we can do. Unless you're swimming in dough, I don't think we can get, we're getting out of this one. Lovely. Come on, it can't be that bad, can it? I'm sorry, did you forget your shirt? Are you always that disgusting? Hey man, that's not cool. I didn't even say anything yet. I overheard your conversation. I was... eavesdropping. Okay, yeah, maybe I was eavesdropping just a little bit, but... You could... Could you blame me? Whatever it is you were talking about, sounds really juicy to me. Excuse me, but you look really familiar. Have you met before? you probably seen me in a poster or something. Name's... Adam? So you have heard of me. That's right, muscular and tough Adam. That's just a th uh, stage name, though, but... It Really gets my point across, doesn't it? Wasn't Adam the name of one of your friends, Corey? Adam, d don't you recognize who we are? I know I've changed a bit, but can't say I know who you two are, but... Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Oh, oh. Well, hot damn. The party's out here, ain't it? Where did we meet before? Just like this? I know you're small, you have a voice, and just like that. And oh my gosh, isn't that the Adam might? What are we doing here? Eh, nothing really, just hanging around in the party or something. You're so funny, you know that? We should go on a date or something. Sorry, but you're not exactly my type. Ooh. I'm not your type. What's your type, then? Muscular, short hair, nice, deep, soothing... Okay, so... Is that supposed to be gay or something? I don't... I get the picture. I'm a good... It's a good thing I ran into you, Corey. I was just talking about my good friend, Volta, about you. Volta? You mean the reporter from Rescue and City? That very same. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, familiarities and whatever. Like I said before, we were just talking about how Koi and uh, Co broke into the tournament system and got the names registered even though it was full. So, Koi, how do you guys do it? You remember, right? Remember right before I signed up for the tournament myself? Remember what the lady told me? She said I was just in time to take the last spot. So there's no way you guys could have all signed up if you couldn't have done something after I, le after I left. We didn't sign ourselves up. We got nothing to do with this mess. Say what you will, but the proof is in the pudding, dear. Whatever, it's no big deal. No one means that we're rivals now. I won't keep you here any longer, Volta. Didn't you say you had to meet up with somebody? Yeah, I kind of ditched them a mistake a while back. I gotta make sure they're okay. It was nice with, uh, nice meeting you all. See you next time, Volta. Now, oh, Volta's out. I gotta go, too. Gene's probably angry for, uh, for keeping him waiting for so long. See you, Corey. Adam, the rest of you. Whatever. Bitch. Eh, I gotta go, too. You know, preparing all that. See you guys in tournament. I promise won't be so nice then. Right. I have a headache. Don't we all? I don't, like to I don't think I necessarily blame you. That was exhausting. I'm not gonna let that crooked system beat me. I have a plan. A plan that I'm gonna keep to myself for now. Anyway, uh, anyway, I never did ask why you two decided to follow me, so spill it. Ah, oh, that's right. Sada told me to and Koya to gather you and Melia. He said once I do that, he'll tell me everything everyone's been keeping from me. That's ominous, but slightly fascinating. Okay then, I guess I'll head back to the theater. Not like this much of... Fudge me, ah, fudge. I don't like there's much for me to do here anyway. Apparently, Melly is at the Hospital of Hope. Do you know where that is? No. We're actually not too far from it now. Just head west. Okay, west. The gate should be there. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Aaron. No problem. 
Stick by Cory. <laughs> yeah, I know. See you two at the theater. Please stick by me this time. So what's the here? The District of Hope? And she's leaving me. God damn it. That's she's gonna do that at some point, and things are gonna go very, 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 very wrong, very, very fast. I, I just know that. There's no way that's gonna end well. Okay, so Hospital of Hope. Which one of these was the hospital? Is it up through this thing? Uh, Hospital of Hope. Okay, there we go. So it's north of, of the Hope District. Who am I talking to here exactly? So I gotta find. Maybe she'll tell me where Melia is. Melia? Uh, stone, 38th floor. Alright. Elevator, 38th floor. Card key required. God damn it. So I gotta find the elevator. I don't think that was the elevator, so... Let's find that. Is that an elevator? 30th. Alright. Now, which one of these is Malia? Is probably the end. Uh, there we go. Hey. Koi, just look. Look what they put Venom in. They put it in a pod just to sit there. How can I let this happen to her? Why wasn't I good enough to do anything? Malia, if anyone should be saying anything, it's me. Should be oh, it should be me. It's really funny when I get that letter saying uh, Veronica would be replaced as gym leader temporarily. I wish for an excuse to leave and not look back. And when I got the call about what happened to Veronica, I, I guess that phrase is true. Be careful what you wish for. This be something we can do, right? Right? Negative. Venom's state is a very tricky one. Something I've never dealt with before. How does one refrain, uh, reform someone who's been stone, uh, turned to stone back to organic human flesh? On paper, it's an impossible task. However, I've overcome tasks deemed impossible many times. We'll do our best to try and revive Venom, but as for now, there's not much, like, not much like that can be done. And thus, and this is the fate of all who turn to stone. Hello, ma'am. Do you have an appointment or something? Are you a visitor? Screw that. I don't need to tell you anything. Oh, it's you. What the hell happened to her? Amber, is that you? Well, Miss Vassal, it's been a long time. Eh, whatever. Just forget what happened. How, how did this happen? Amber, when did you get here? Is that really important here? I'm just trying to ask how my friend was doing. Or how my friend was turned to stone. We, we don't know. She snuck out in the middle of the night and then when she found, we found her like this. You stupid idiot. I told you one day you'd get yourself in a lot of trouble. Stupid bitch. God damn it. What are we doing about this then? As I was just saying, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing anyone can do. That's just the reality. I'm working as hard as I can to try and get, create a miracle, but you only get so many. So that's just it then? We're just gonna give up and pray to God that we get a miracle? That's bullshit. Nothing's gonna happen if we just sit around and do nothing but wait. That's just what you have to do. You people are just weak. Weak! This guy got hit too? Correct, that's Damien, the dog type gym leader. Don't don't spout bullshit. There's no dog type gym leader in Avium at the moment. Pardon? There's no dog type gym leader in Avium. The last leader resigned to go travel the world or something. How do you know that? How do you know any of that? Because of the last dog type leader was my stupid dad. And he didn't resign to travel the world, he resigned because he wanted nothing to do with me and my mom. That's why I know whoever this is is definitely not a dog type leader. You should listen to the girl, she's smart. Aren't you? The person left in this pod, I mean, he sure does look like me, but he isn't. My name's Damien, I'm, I'm, the, I'm not a dog type leader, I'm the dragon type leader. You're the dragon type leader? I don't understand, why... Why am I simultaneously in this pod and out here talking to you? It's because the one inside the pot is just a sculpture I made- I made it myself. I'm sure she meant that too, but why fake this? How'd you even get the people to mistake you for a dog type leader? It's not only really easy to trick people into believing a lie. I created a fake persona that involved me being a dog type leader. All I had to do was prove that, uh, that to the Amanda girl that I was capable of being it. And that was it. Turns out she's been traveling the whole region to find a replacement for the longest time. I jumped on that. But why? It was all to find Alexandra. Alexandra? You may not know her by that name. She's probably created tons of aliases that she, she probably herself doesn't remember. Maybe you'll remember if I describe what she looked like. Dark skin, long black hair, purple green robes. I've been chasing her for a long time, longer than I can remember. She was too crafty for me. If I couldn't find her myself, I had to make her come to me. So I created a fake persona and staged my death. Alexandra always knew that I wanted to be a dog type trainer more than anything. But was forced to take a dragon type path. Dragons are cool, don't worry. I knew that if she heard the dog type gym leader named Damien was turned to stone, her curiosity consumed, and she'd be making her way down here to see me. 
It almost worked too, but I revealed myself too early and she ran off. Alexander will bring upon the end of the world if I don't find her. Something doesn't add up. I'll confess, I don't speak to this Alexander person before. She was a nice person. She didn't do anything to me. She made me feel unsa that made me feel unsafe. Not even when she asked me to do the dragon's t uh, trial. The dragon's trial? Anyway, it's not Exilla that I'm worried about. She wouldn't hum fly. The, th the thing she was traveling with, the thing she stole from my tribe. The thing she was traveling with, but she was alone. She was alone? Did she not... Did she not have a female being traveling with her? Dark hair, dark skin, ponytails, and incredibly psychic abilities? Hmm. Hello? That can't be possible. Are you referring to Nim? It had no name at the time. You said... Wait, you said she named herself Nim? That has to be it. Only you name itself Nim. Nim. When was the last time you seen Nim? Don't be fooled by its appearance. It's not that innocent girl she seems to be. Its very existence is causing everything to go wrong in the first place. If she's to take care of the entire world, she's dead. It's, it's dead? That's impossible. If it were dead, then... Why do you keep referring to her as it? She was a fucking person, you moron. She was a friend. A friend that we failed to save from Team Zen. She died in front of our eyes. Team Zen dumped her into a uh, pit of boiling lava. I'm so sorry. It can't be helped but laugh at your ignorance. It can't die from methods like that. I believe that she fell into a pit of lava. Nim, or whatever you would call her, isn't dead. Her body must be formed somewhere else. That's just its demonic nature. You can't kill it through normal means. You think Nim is still alive? Most definitely. Now that I have this information, I suppose I must move it elsewhere. As for you, boy with right hair, me, if you're who I think you are, then perhaps things won't be so bad, after all. But if you don't remember quickly, then we're going to the problems. I must go for now. With this new bit of information, I'm sure I can find Nim. And if you happen to run into Alexandra, tell her she can't run from her problems forever. Because they will catch up with her one way or another. And that guy was just a weirdo. A weirdo and a jerk. Right? I'm sorry, I don't know what to do with any information that's given. It's a... It's a... Uh, there's a possibility that Nim is alive. I'm sure you're all overjoyed and I hate to cut you off, but visiting hours are now over. You have to leave this room for a time being. Understood. That being said, I believe there's uh, two victims in the attack. I'll have to attend to that lavender girl now, once I remove the decoy, uh, yeah, decoy from this pod. It's wasting space, time, and money. Well, where do you even begin with all that? Can you ask something easier? I'm not in the mood to talk, uh, think right now. Amber, what are you even doing here? Huh? Oh, that's right, I'm here because of the Festival of Dreams. I come here every year, but that's just, that's just, uh, this year's special. What's so special about it? I was just about to get there. Melia, who's this guy anyway? You know what? Don't even worry about it. I don't really care. Anyway, this year's special because I was specifically asked by Cassandra to be a, a commenter and referee. Oh wow, that's a responsibility. Yeah, I know, right? How stupid is she p for picking me? I took the job anyway and came here as fast as I could. Then when I got here, I heard some t uh, someone talking about how this girl named Venom is in some sort of accident. Then after that, I saw a news board about how she was turning to stone. I, I ran as quick as possible. I practically left my mom behind. Don't worry, though. I'll make it up to her later. Still working that spoiled brat thing. It's a process. Glad to hear it. I gotta go look for my mom now, though. I'm sure she's wondering where I went, where I am. See you at the tournament. Hmm? Oh, Koi? There's something I want to give. Actually, I'll give it to you later. Okay. I guess we can get going as well. Melia, before you go, I'd like to talk. Frankly, I'm a little surprised you're here. You're supposed to be missing and all. But that's your business, and I'm not gonna pry. I know that you and your Veronica are very close. Back when I first got here, I was given a lot of Veronica's possessions, including Pokemon. However, there's one thing that she was carrying that I think was actually meant for you. This box, it says from Venom and Koi. Oh, the bow. It's a blue ribbon. Happy birthday from Melia. Oh, happy birthday, Melia, from Venom and Koi. Thank you, Chastity. Uh, uh, Melia, I need you. Ah, uh, damn it. Melia, you must stop blaming yourself for this. Melia. G Melia. Damn it. Wait, where, where, where is she? She better be at the front of the hospital. I need to talk to her. Malia? Yeah, oh, there we go. I'm sorry, but do I know you? Look, Malia, I know this is sudden, but I'm Alita, and I need you to come with me. Alita? I thought you were in a coma. And you thought Nim was dead, but went wrong sometimes. How do you know about that? Why are you being so rude? I was outside listening to you all speak, but that's not important right now. Koi and I came here to bring you with us. Back off, what's your deal anyway? And who are you? I don't know you at all. My name's Ka- 
Are you coming with me or not, Amalia? What if I don't want to? What then, Alita? Two can play this game, and I don't appreciate your attitude. <sighs> Look, I know you probably... I know you can probably tell, but something's wrong with me. I'm not the same person I was before. The events on Vala Mountain. I've been given this opportunity to learn something about myself. You know Aaron, right? Her grandfather got me out of the coma, but the curse that put me in there is still lingering within me. If you just come with me, maybe all this can be fixed and we can move on. I see. Well, given that explanation, it's hard for me to say no. But curse or not, you'll have to learn to watch your tone. Because frankly, I don't appreciate it. I know, I just- I can't control myself sometimes. So, let's go. Wait. What's the problem? Why didn't you talk to us while we were in the hospital? Why are we just eavesdropping on us? Because I couldn't look you in the face and talk about what happened. Do you really need another sob story after what happened to Venom? What good would that do for anyone? It wouldn't do anything. That being said, we're going to be on the Rose Theater, which is around, uh, Route 9. You have to go by the train. The Scala District still isn't open to the public because of this power issues. Alright. Looks like she's a totally different person. You two were friends with her at one point? Yeah, we were actually really good friends, actually. Whatever happened to her changed the whole personality, uh, personality. Whatever happened to her changed the whole personality a lot. That's why I want to help her. But this blue ribbon Koi and Venom got me, I'm going to make my uh, promise. I'm going to save Venom and I'm going to save Alita too. And this time I refuse to fail. We're going to head on over to Rose Theater, Cory. Yes, thank God. I didn't want to walk there. Alright, well, let's see what this whole cutscene's going to be. My mouth is getting kind of dry from talking non-stop. I don't think there's been a battle yet. Just non-stop talking. Uh, where are they? No? What, what room are they in? Hello? Well, I'm, I'm in the uh, Kimono room. There's a Zygarde cell here. Yoink. Another one for the cachet. And then the Kimono room's just the top floor there. Now, where the hell are they, though? Oh, found him. Fall right room. It seems the last participants finally arrived. But this man, what's it, what is this old man? I said I would tell you everything, Alita. And in the way, that wasn't a lie. But I won't be directly telling you everything. So what you're saying is that you brought us all here to reject us in unison. Classy. Not entirely true, but it's time for you to learn who you really are. But you will live it, not learn it. Pardon? I've been ordered by higher powers to present you with all this when you were, the time came. Something that would allow you all to live through the painful events that happened many years ago. This is a time splicer stone. A what? A time splicer stone. A stone that allows someone to splice through the uh, threads of time and space. With this, you can transport yourself into the past before the calamity known as Storm Nine in the region toward the region of Port. Time travel? You expect me to believe in something like that is possible? I'd like to agree to Lita, but stranger things have happened. I, I I don't understand. What does this have to do with anything? You'll see the truth for yourself. Use the Time Splicer Stone to go back and find Sheridan Village. Sheridan Village in the past? If the answer lies there, then I will go with no questions asked. And I guess you want to go with me and look for after Lita? I guess my job spans across multiple points of time. This journey requires Koi, Amalia, Alita, and you, Aaron. However, I was surprised to see that Kan was appeared in this time as well. Unfortunately, I can allow Kan to involve himself in this task. What? I'm being brushed to the side again? I mean, no ill will, but this... What does it matter? I'm not even originally from this time. You're saying you're not going to let me go back home? Why can't Ken come with us, Souda? Ken's already vanished uh, his purpose in the past. The events that will unfold in Tin Sheridan can only be done by you, you four. If Ken interrupts this, the results can be disastrous. No, it's fine. I totally get it. No one wants me around. Cannon, that's not what he's trying to say. It's been real clear how you think me of me recently. I can't even get a word out until someone tra- You're not coming, that's just- Dude, stop. Cannon's fine. Alexandra's right, you know? I don't belong here at all. Cannon. You all have fun back in the past without me, I'm leaving. Oh. Just where do you plan on going? To find Alexandria. I know exactly where she is. Don't try and look for me- Oh, shit. Leave him, the journey he takes to find Alexandria or change him. I'm much need to change that we'll need, we'll need later. What's up with you lately? You've been talking like you know me more than you put on, old man. That's not important right now. For now, you four must travel through time. There's no time to waste. Let's just figure out Ken and go. I'm assuming if I just touch this thing. There we go. I hope Ken will be okay on his own. He'll be fine. And has to, it is as he has to be. Will Alita truly be better if I do this? Will helping us save her from what she's become? Most certainly. Okay, let's do it then. Please, Cory, interact with the stone whenever you're ready to do so. Time works in a very funny way. You can take all your time you need to prepare. I'm fine. Actually... Oh, boy. Uh, save here. Yeah, save here, and thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you did. 
If not, just thank you for watching the episode, and I appreciate y'all for watching. When I come back tomorrow, we see what the hell that thing does and where the hell I go. In the meantime, I'll see you then. Bye, Zs.